Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy Presley. Now before we start the video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That would be greatly appreciated. So as you guys can see, I have on my military army OCPs because this is an army video. And as you guys can see by the title, we are gonna be talking about what is red phase like in basic training. Now I get lots and lots of questions about red phase. It's the phase that kind of scares people a little bit. So we are gonna be talking about that. We're gonna be talking about all the juicy stuff, all the things that you guys need to know. And I also wanna say that I'm so excited that our family is growing. I love each and every one of you guys. Continue to show me love, continue to support, and I love you guys so much, and let's just dive right into the video. So we are going to be talking about red phase because this is a topic that, you know, kind of puts people on edge, and we are going to be clearing up all that good stuff. So first and foremost, number one is red phase is all about the reality check. It's a huge reality check, guys, because you guys are going from a civilian to a soldier. You know, so there's gonna be no more, you know, playing Xbox all day. There's no more getting your nails done. You guys are in the army now. It's not a game, it's not a joke. You guys are starting your whole career. This is the gateway to your whole career. This is, you know, the front entrance to your whole career, guys. So it's not a joke, it's not a game. You guys will be hit with that reality as soon as you guys get there. And I do wanna say that as of 2021, they have gotten rid of shark attacks. So you guys are some lucky people watching. For all the people who are thinking about joining basic training, you guys are some lucky chicken nuggets because you guys don't have to worry about shark attacks, you know, all that yelling. They got rid of all that, guys. Things are very different now thanks to the Sergeant Major of the Army. I will insert a picture of him, but he is the one who got rid of shark attacks as of 2021, so you guys don't have to deal with that. I'm pretty sure the drill sergeants are still going to be strict, but you guys won't have to deal with all that yelling in your face, you know, especially because of Corona. So you guys are some lucky chicken nuggets because you, you guys don't have to deal with none of that, which is great. So number two is I want to talk about something that's really important. If you guys are thinking about joining the army, I just want to say that you guys can do it. You guys can do it. If this skinny girl from New York can do it, so can you guys. People have doubted me, said that I would never be able to make it through. Guys, I made it through basic training, guys. I made it through. So can you. Basic training is honestly just a mind game. If you guys haven't already, please go watch my other basic training video. I have a really great video about what to expect in basic training. I also have a video on what to pack, all that good stuff. Please guys, go check those videos out if you're new or if you haven't, um, if you guys still have some more questions, go watch those videos because I covered all that. But I just wanna say something that basic training is just a mind game. So it's just a way to kind of mess with you. You guys can do it, you guys can make it. As long as you keep your mind right and you guys stay focused, you guys will make it, I guarantee. So red phase is honestly, it's a scary phase, but it's kind of not scary if you guys just stick to what you guys have to do. If you guys just do what you guys need to do, keep your words few, work as a team, you know, respect the drill sergeants, you guys will pass, guys. You guys will pass with flying colors. I guarantee it, guys. I guarantee it. Number three is red phase is all about a transformation. Red phase is honestly a way to get you guys out of your comfort zone. You know, you guys, like I said, are no longer going to be at home, no longer sleeping till 2 a.m. There's none of that, guys. You guys are in the army now. So red phase is kind of like I said before, it's the reality check. You guys are no longer, you know, up under your parents all the time. Whatever you guys used to do before, that is going to change once you guys get to red phase. And I also want to talk about the whole, you know, breaking you down to build you guys back up. That is something that you guys probably have heard before, that basic training is a way to break you down to build you guys up. And that's pretty much what it is. It's just taking you from a weak person, a weak, confused, scared person, and they're trying to build you into a strong, confident soldier. That's all red face is. That's all basic training is. It's really not that hard. It's just about, you know, working as a team, being respectful, it's all just a way to train you guys. It's a way to bring you guys out of that shell. It's kind of like the whole butterfly, um, it's kind of like a butterfly transformation because you guys are going from just, you know, a little caterpillar to a beautiful butterfly, a beautiful soldier. So that's pretty much what it is, is the transformation from a shy person to a more confident person. 
Number four is in red phase, you guys will have to do PT every day. And that's not just for red phase, but that's for your whole basic training experience. You guys will do PT every day in all types of weather, snow, rain, all types of weather. You guys will have to, you know, physically train your body every single day, push-ups, running, all that good stuff. So in red phase, you guys will get introduced to that. You know, the first day that you guys get there, you guys will talk about all that, guys, all the training that you guys will need. In red phase, you guys will also get used to doing the PT test. So pretty much like training your body to prepare for the PT test. Now the PT test won't come until later on in the phase uh, towards uh, like I would say the end of white phase. That's when you might take your PT test, but we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. So that's number four is in red phase, you guys will get used to doing PT every single day. Uh, number five is when you guys are in red phase, you guys will get your weapons for the first time. Yes, guys. So this is around the second week or third week of red phase. It could depend on where you guys are. Some people get it the first day they get there, but usually that doesn't happen to the second week because when you first arrive in red phase, they're trying to still get you guys in process. You know, it's still like the whole paperwork process. So you guys usually won't get your weapons until the second or third week but everybody will get a weapon and you guys will have to carry this weapon with you every single day you guys are going to be assigned your own weapon it's not going to be loaded because they don't want people pointing it at each other but you guys will be assigned a weapon and speaking of weapons all throughout your whole basic training experience you guys will learn how to properly use your weapon how to load it unload it you guys will learn how to clean it you guys will learn all the safety measures i am going to make a white face video and a blue face video so please guys stay tuned for that but you guys will be getting your weapons in red phase that's going to happen number six is time 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 so when you guys are in red phase it's all about time management you guys can't just be laying around you guys will have a set schedule every single day like i said there's no more sleeping till 5 a.m you guys are no longer at home you guys are in the army it's the real thing it's the real thing guys so you guys will have a sketch a set schedule you guys will have to wake up around four o'clock for pt you know you guys will be timed when you guys are in the deep back eating you guys will be timed they're only going to give you a few minutes to eat i don't want you guys to shove food in your mouth and choke and stuff like that but please guys you guys have to move with a purpose that's all like basic training is you know being on time moving with a purpose not being late wearing the right uniform it's all about right time right place right uniform so right time make sure you guys are on time to all your formations right place make sure you guys are in the right place don't be somewhere you're not supposed to be please guys don't be somewhere you're not supposed to be and right uniform make sure you guys are always wearing what they tell you to wear if they tell you to wear ocps you wear your ocps if they tell you to wear pt uh pt shorts and a, and a shirt that's what you guys are supposed to wear it's all about time 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 discipline 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 Number seven is in red phase, you guys might go to the gas chamber. And I say might because of the whole coronavirus pandemic. Now, as of for me, when I was in basic training, we had to do the gas chamber. That was something that everybody had to do. If you didn't do it, you weren't able to graduate from basic training. Everybody must complete the gas chamber. But you know, as of 2021, I don't know if that's still going on, but the gas chamber is pretty much a way to uh, train you guys in an emergency situation. It's a way to train you guys if anything ever happens if there's ever any chemical war warfare or any kind of chemical um something that's set off it's a way to train you guys it's kind of like a drill you guys will learn how to put the mask on how to seal it how to take the mask off you guys will have to breathe in the gas when you guys are in the gas chamber i will have a whole separate video about my experience because my experience was so scary and crazy but i will have a whole separate video about that but you guys might go to the gas chamber in red phase. I don't know if that's still going on, but for me, I had to do the gas chamber in red phase. It was around the fourth week. It was towards the end of red phase. Number eight is when you guys are in red phase, you guys will have to do small confidence courses. Now, confidence courses are huge in red phase because it's a way to get you guys to start doing team building. Now, team building is something that I always talk about on this channel. You know, you guys need to work as a team when you guys are in basic training. You know, it's not about, you know, I'm not gonna talk to this person. We're just gonna do our own thing. No, teamwork is huge. I repeat, it's so huge, guys. You guys need to build strong bonds. You guys need to build strong relationships because it's all about teamwork. If one part of the pyramid breaks, everything is gonna shatter and burn and crumble. The whole pyramid is just gonna come stumbling apart. It's just gonna break apart. So team building is huge in Red Phase. You wanna show your drill sergeants that you guys know how to work as a team it's a way to kind of show them like okay this platoon they work together they talk together they help each other out i remember when i was in red phase 
going to confidence courses was so much fun. Like confidence courses are so much fun because people are cheering you on. Everybody was like, Presley, go Presley, go Presley. Like people were making me feel so much better as a person because I was the smallest person. I was the smallest one there. I was the skinniest, I was the smallest. And it felt good when I had my battle buddies, you know, cheering me on like, you got this Presley, you got this, keep going, keep going. You know, you guys will do different things like crawling through tunnels. You guys will um, climb ropes. You guys will do tons of things. You guys will do the A-frame. You guys will get to climb these different walls. It's actually really fun. It's really fun, guys. That is one thing that I will always remember about Red Phase. The confidence courses were lit. The confidence courses were honestly a blast, especially if you guys work as a team. If you guys don't work as a team, you guys are going to hate Red Phase. You guys are going to hate it. I'm telling you, work as a team. Make good friends, guys. Work together. So number nine is in red phase, you guys will learn how to go to the DFAT. And when you guys go to the DFAT, the DFAT is very, you know, stressful, but you guys, like I said, have to obey the drill sergeants. You know, they will be timing you guys to eat. When you guys walk into the DFAT, you can't just be like, hey, yo, hey, give me some pizza. Let me get some mashed potatoes. You know, you guys can't just be sitting there just taking your time eating your mashed potatoes and gravy like, yeah, yeah. These are so good. Yeah. Hey, yo, pass the salt, pass the pepper. Oh, no, they're going to be rushing you guys to eat. Like I said, there's no lounging around. When you guys go to go to the deep back, you guys will have to walk with your cups to your chest. You guys will have to sidestep when you guys are in the deep back on the line waiting for your food. It's all very organized. It's all very neat. You guys can't just walk in there and just start acting a fool. They will time you to eat. You guys will have to sidestep. You know, you guys want to be acting up. You just want to pay attention and do what you guys need to do. That's the main thing about basic. Keep your words few with the drill sergeants. Don't talk back. Don't give them attitude. Just do what you guys need to do. Sidestep in the deep back. Make sure you guys hold your cups to your chest. They're going to teach you guys all of that. Number 10 is when you guys are in red phase, you guys will do some classes. So every now and then they might bring you guys into the classroom to learn about different parts of the army. You guys will learn about rank. You guys will learn about all the discipline. You guys will learn about all these different things such as the seven core army values, you know, discipline, all that good stuff. And you guys will mostly be in the classroom for maybe like an hour and you guys will learn how to, you know, assemble your weapon, how to break down your weapon. You guys will have different classes that you guys will have to take. There's no crazy tests, you know, or none of that, but you do want to make sure that you're taking notes because at the end of blue phase, you guys will take an end of cycle test. It's a, it's a test to see, you know, how you guys did the whole time. It's a way to test you on everything, you know, the gas chamber, you know, the weapons, there's gonna be some medical questions on there, you know, all that good stuff. So make sure that when you guys are in red phase, you guys are taking good notes. Bring a notebook with you, like I said in my basic training video, pack a notebook so that you guys can write down all these little things because I'm telling you guys, you need to know this. Number 11 is in red phase, you guys will learn how to, you know, of course, use a weapon. And my last point is, red phase is what you guys make of it. Red phase is honestly not that hard, guys. I guarantee, red phase is honestly not that bad, guys. It's just about working together as a team. It's about, you know, coming together as one and making it happen. Red phase will be hell if you make it hell. If you give the drill sergeant's attitude, if you're disrespectful to your battle buddies, it's just gonna be harder on you. Red face is not that bad. Like I said, guys, if I can do it, so can you. You guys have to work as a team. You guys have to be respectful. Red face is very stressful, but it's not stressful if you guys don't make it stressful. You know, keep your words few. Don't talk back. All that good stuff. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will be making a video for white face and blue face, like I said. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys so much. If there's anything I missed, please write it down in the comments. And I hope you guys stay safe. Love you guys so much. Peace.